So let's talk about the chart. Charts are uh, for all over the different parts of where you might be. Uh, we're going to use this chart because this is used a lot in our books and a lot of the uh, Coast Guard exams and a lot of the practice exams that the Coast Guard will provide. This chart is the Long Island Sound Eastern Park chart. Every chart's going to have its own name. For the charts that we use in school, we use charts that are for instructional purposes only. Okay, they are not up to date, so you don't want to go and navigate with them. So if you notice, it says not to be used for navigation. Every chart has a soundings. It's going to tell you what its soundings are. In this case, the soundings on this chart are in feet. And the chart is, is generally the low, lower water. So you can uh, determine that all of these little numbers that exist in the chart are the depth of the water at the mean lower low. We have uh, every chart will have a compass rose on it and use the compass rose closest to where you are when you're plotting and we'll talk about that in a little bit. And every chart has lots of extra information and you should be aware of the information on the chart. Uh, this chart's going to tell us in the upper left hand corner the cautions and small craft warnings. In the upper right part of the chart, we're going to have the soundings and feet at mean low or low. And then it's going to have some information here. This has to do with tidal information in certain specific areas. In the bottom right hand part of the chart, we're going to have special notes. This has to do with note A. There are cautions, information that you might be in need of when you're working in this area. In the lower left hand corner, the chart has a scale in nautical miles or in yards. Other notes, for example, this says note C, danger areas, other cautionary areas. So all of the chart in itself tells you much about what happens in the area in which the chart is covering. 